Can y'all believe it is already Sunday at noon and the conference is coming to an end? Does it feel, do, do, am I the only one who feels like I just walked in the door? <laughs> I'm exhausted, but yet I feel like no time at all has passed. Well, I can't believe it's another conference and another end of the conference. And the first thing that I just want to say is thank you. Thank you to all the attendees. This has been the best conference we've had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had total 411 attendees. 194 of those attendees attended virtually. And we had an international folks attend from Canada, from Italy, from Brazil, from the UK, South Korea, India, and there was probably more. Those are just the ones we were able to easily identify. So just fantastic. During when we all got in our groups here today, which seemed to be a big hit by the way you guys were all chatting with each other, they also had an opportunity to do roundtable discussions virtually as well. So we we're just so excited to be able to do that. There was a lot of firsts with this conference. If you've been to our FDRS conferences in the past, this is the first conference that we were able to offer a Saturday evening dinner option. Now that, be, that came out of a need of necessity because if you looked around or if you looked at your maps, there weren't any restaurants in within, within walking distance. So we wanted to make sure that, especially for the patients, that you had an opportunity to not have to travel far for, for dinner. This was also the, and if we're gonna do dinner, why not do a happy hour? <laughs> So we had a cash bar on Saturday. That was a first for us. This was our first conference with our app, Whova. Now, Whova, I don't know about you, sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed <laughs> with all the information, but I just got, I just pulled it just a few moments ago. There were 2,050 messages exchanged. So all of us, all the virtual attendees, there was two, just, and that's just direct messaging with one another. 2,050, there were 90 community board posts, and there were 241 photos uploaded. So if you have some more photos, upload them, because there's been some questions that have been asked. You get to access the mobile and the web app for three months after today. So we have three months to continue to access Whova, so you can continue to access, you can continue to communicate with one another through the chats, the, the folks that you've met and made friends with. If you have, uh, if you have continued questions, you can ask them there if you want to upload some photos. And I have a big announcement to make is that very soon, I don't have a date, we'll have to work out the logistics, we will be replaying the conference um, through the app. So if there was a session you missed, I was like, thank you. When we first started talking, we talked about what a, just a, how, what a great conference this is. And what's made it such a great conference is you, the attendees. We have just, you know, us and the board and organizers, you know, just even taken a step back and just, just the, the, the collegiality, just the enthusiasm to be here is just, you, we just all could just see it and we just could not, we just, the atmosphere, we just could not do it without all of you guys. So give yourselves a hand for just having such an upbeat and positive conference. I could not make it through a conference without, and I always get a little emotional about this. <laughs> Look around the room and see how many supportive husbands, wives, partners, mothers. Look at our care team and look at how many people care about you. So for the people who don't know, you guys all think I'm a crier. <laughs> I'm really not, <laughs> but there's just certain things that touch me. But we want to give a big shout out to all of the support team um, that joined you here. So let's give a great big round of applause to them. I hear we had some good discussions going on in room 207 during our breakout for the Durkham's group, so let's give a great big hand to all of our Durkham's patients who made it out. I believe there's some Madelungs and FML patients that are here, and so we want to, the more that you guys participate and come to the conferences, the more that we can offer programming specific to your conditions as well, because in our which we're gonna start calling formerly known as fat disorders, 
Yeah, that puts us in a pickle, doesn't it? <laughs> the name of our organization is Fat Disorders <laughs> Resource Society, and we want to start moving away from um, the word fat disorders. But in that spectrum, it's, it's lipedema, it's Durkheim's disease, it's Madeline's disease, and it's FML. Please don't ask me to, sorry folks, can't quite get that whole, <laughs> the whole name out. Um, I also want to thank all of the volunteers that made this conference possible, from pre-conference to our ba the, the um, bag assemblers, the greeters, the time, where's our timer? Our speaker timer. No. <laughs> for those of you who lent a hand to people in need and for, make, uh, for discussions, at our opening ceremonies, I know some of you came alone and just having that person who came down and said hello to you um, and trying to make everybody welcome, that's all what makes this conference tick. And we just want to thank you for that. Also, I want to give a giant shout out to our fashion show participants. Our models were awesome. I might have peaked. I haven't been able to keep up with the 1,050 or whatever that number was, all the message boards, but there is, a, I believe there's a whole discussion on where did you get your clothes from? Give us links. We want to know where we can buy those outfits. So um, put a plug in there for that. Now this gives me a great big smile. Um, I believe, uh, maybe even as Dr. Earps that mentioned it, this is our conference that has had the largest participation by clinicians. We had 73 total clinicians registered for this conference. This is the most ever. We had 23 physicians and 50 therapists. So just, you know, thank you. And as I always put my plug in, continue to tell your colleagues. We, you know, as we continue with our awareness and more and more patients are becoming aware that we have lipedema, we have Durkheim's, we have Malin's, we have FML, we need places to go, we need clinicians that care. And so the more that we can advocate and um, have more clinicians that understand our conditions and, and how to help us navigate, the, the better off that we are. We want to give a very special, special recognition for our our inaugural medical advisory board. And as I mentioned on Friday evening, we, they had their very first meeting on Friday morning themselves. So thank you to our medical advisory board. What did you guys think of our speakers? I'm not sure if everyone here, there's a lot of first timers, so I want to, I would be remiss without saying that our speakers travel here on their own dime. They pay for their own airfare, they pay for their own hotel, hotel room, they want to be here, and we just could not do that without the generosity of their time and their experience. So thank you again to all the speakers. <laughs> and speaking of generosity, our sponsors. We wouldn't be able to put on this kind of production without our sponsors. Um, our sponsors are Platinum Sponsor Total Lipedema Care, which is Dr. Jamie Schwartz, and our Gold Sponsors Advanced Lipedema Treatment by Dr. David Imron, the Lipedema Foundation, Lympha Press, Grand Zell Lymphedema and Lipedema, Lipedema Center, and Dr. Michael Schwartz, and our Bronze Sponsors the Cleveland Clinic Department of Vascular Medicine and Crocmole Plastic Surgery. Let's give it up for our sponsors. We had room, the, the space here could only hold 15 exhibitors, and we had 15 exhibitors. So let's give it up to all of our exhibitors. And when I say it, the, the generosity of our sponsors, it, without the generosity of our sponsors and our exhibitors, we would not be able to offer the, conference, the, the patient conference rate that we have. For those of you who have attended in the past, we were able to actually lower that cost this year. So this is our, we were able to do that because of, because of them. The cost that we charge for the conference don't even um, cover the cost of food, to be honest with you. Um, so it is, they helped us subsidize our, 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 our conference so much and we just could not do that without them. We also were able to award 25 scholarships for patients to attend, this, uh, to attend the conference virtually. So, awesome. 
I would be remiss not to give a big shout out to our AV team, Lou and Al, and our videographers, Isaiah and Jesse. And our photographer, Dale, I cannot wait to share the photos with you. I've had a sneak peek and they are amazing. So can't wait to share those all with you. And talking about a tribe, I want to give a uh, shout out to the FDRS board. Okay, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> These are my people and, um, and, uh, and to, to, uh, to steal the terminology, they're also my emotional support people. <laughs> they're, my, they're, they're, my, they're, they're my, yes. So Brianna Garrett, Polly Armour, Miriam Aladdin, and Jerry Ann Wheaton. This is... <laughs> and more than anything else, they help keep me in line, which is not an easy task, I assure you. <laughs> From a tactical perspective for the um, CM, so we were able to offer CME. That was also a, a big thing for us to be able to offer CME. That's continuing medical education credits. Those are things that physicians and other clinicians need, whether it's called CME or CEUs. And we were able to get, that, uh, to get our conference accredited so that they could get CMEs. So the physicians, you'll get a code. We've already mailed, uh, emailed that to you. And if, for the non-physicians, we're gonna email you your certificate later this week. Just give me a moment to take a breath and then we will get those sent out to you. You, in your bags, you had some Durkham's cards. We have Durkham's cards. We have Lipedema cards. We're not fulfilling Lipedema card orders right this moment because we've redesigned our Lipedema card. And it is uh, re about ready to go to press. And as soon as we have those, the, they can be ordered. And what I mean by that is you can go to our website and request to have some either Durkham's or Lipedema cards. And what these cards are is, is those are designed for you to take them to your clinicians, take them to your primary care doctor, take them to every doctor visit you have, whether it's related to what you're there for or not. The whole purpose and the reason we design these is, is to give the clinicians something, to be honest with you, someone talked about it earlier, I think it was Jerry Ann, you know, being able to get the uh, respect and the attention, having something that is written in medical terms, that is written in, you know, written for physicians and other clinicians, helps to legitimize the, 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 the conditions that we have and what the resources that are available. It's no longer a Google printout. And as much as Google has been our friend, we know that it, it hurts us a lot of times when we try, you know, that people want to call it an internet disease or those types of things. So. We've been wildly successful with disseminating. Um, I'll have to add it up, but if I had to guess off the top of my head, we've easily disseminated over 10,000 Lipedema cards and probably about 15,000 um, Durkham's cards. So very fantastic. Um, check, your, check your email in the upcoming weeks. One of the things that you should know about us, the, the board, and, and, and as conference organizers, we're going to be quiet for a little while. We're going to be, <laughs> we're, we're a little tired, but in the, uh, going to hibernation, um, but we will be sending out some emails in the coming weeks about how you can volunteer, how you can get active with the organization, and help us continue just to build on this momentum that we already have. If you already haven't, you know, have to, have to do the plug. I'm not really a social media person. We have those experts sitting in the room here. We're amongst royalty. But like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, even though I don't really think we have a lot on Instagram. The biggest thing is our YouTube channel. I mean, that is what has been the backbone of who we are. FDRS has been able to have our, our um, conferences professionally video, um, videographed and then turned into videos that then live on, on YouTube. Those take a little bit longer to get into production because these are gonna live on forever. And we wanna make sure we get right the, uh, the correct audience. So we take some time to make sure that they're edited appropriately and everything before they are published on, on YouTube. Um, so if you're not already on our YouTube channel, please subscribe so you'll get notifications when those are available. Everybody's burning question is, is where's the next conference? Well, we don't have that lockdown quite yet and we are, we are looking at 
going, I'm probably getting back to more of the central United States, even though we're not too far over here um, in, in Ohio. So one of the biggest challenges, and we just wanted to share this with you guys, because we get a lot of questions of like, why don't you go here? And why don't you go there? And, and you know, all great questions. Well, one of the things in planning this FDRS conference is, is number one is an affordable room rate. That is our number one priority in organizing a, you know, a, a conference that, in, that includes patients is an affordable room rate. When we tell people we get a $129 room rate, they're like, what? That is almost, you know, it's almost impossible. Large facilities that that have the capacity to to have that have ballrooms like this, these are two hundred and sixty nine dollar room rates. Um, I can attest in my professional life, I do attend a lot of conferences, and I've never got a hundred twenty nine dollar room rate. They're all in the two fifties. Would any, would many of you be able to come to a conference if the room rate was two hundred and fifty nine dollars? You know, probably probably not. So that's one of them. That's the largest determination of where we go. The second is is we look to what cities does Southwest fly, and why do you go? Well, why Southwest? Does anyone know why we look to where cities where Southwest flies? Person to size policy. That is exact. So we look, and we also look to, um, not only is it somewhere that Southwest goes and flies because of their generous, per and I see generous person of size policy, they're the only airline that has one. Um, so that isn't, that's very important to us. We also look for facilities from accessibility standpoint. Have any of you been to a conference in Las Vegas before? Okay, I, my feet hurt. <laughs> And I'm very, you know, I'm fairly mobile, and my feet hurt. Um, there's places in Nashville I've been to um, just a number of times. I'm like, there's no way we could do an FDRs conference here. So I'm like, got my, tw you know, 20,000 steps in. So <laughs> we're looking at places that, you know, even though the distance down the hall was a little bit further away than I would have preferred, it is still, you know, it is still accessible for, for many of us. So those are the things that we're looking for. And then the lastly, the biggest challenge and hurdle that we have when we're finding a place is, is someone who will take us. And what do I mean by that is, is we want a low room rate, we need a lot of space because we've always, this isn't about social distancing, we've always had our room set up this way. These rooms are normally three chairs per table. We have ours two chair, two per table. The rows are normally, in, in the way that the hotel normally sets them up, you would put another table right behind that first row. They would be stacked in. Well, you know, these hips ain't getting through those. I mean, like moving them around. So we need a lot of space. We have a low room rate. We need a lot of space. And we are very, for hotel standards, we are very thrifty. Um, we don't have a big food and beverage um, uh, uh, budget. And so a lot of hotels turn us down because we don't have that spend. We don't spend the money that they're looking for to give us the space. So we just wanted to share with everyone what it, what it goes into planning the conference and, and how the, the cities are selected. So because of all those things, we're generally going to be in what's considered mid-market cities. We're not going to be in the major convention centers and areas just because the, the cost is going to be too much for us. So... So stay tuned. <laughs> now, the moment that everybody's been waiting for. The raffle. <laughs> okay, let's start with Okay. What you got? <laughs> system. Okay, so these are okay. So these are lipoelastic. Thank you, lipoelastic, for your wonderful generosity. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, we're gonna do these fast, or we're gonna be here for a long time. Okay. Do we have to be present to win? Yes, or else I have to. Okay. <laughs> Just making making sure. All right. All right. Does everybody have their raffle tickets out? Before I get started. Okay. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. 213. What is your color? Oh, lipoelastic leggings. Which size? Well, I didn't want to announce that. Well, we have to. Okay. We're all, We're all friends here, right? Is everybody okay with that? Okay, oh. two. <laughs> here, I'll just hand them to you. 
Um, two thirteen. Is 213 here? Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. 214. 214, going once, going twice. 179. Woo! Oh, two more? 212. No 212, 178. Is that you again? No, we only have one ticket left. And then 177. Ah, awesome. I'm gonna put these in order. go all right going to the next next one 139 going once going twice 138 52 196 well my goodness okay All right, the next one is going to be 143. Woohoo! 143. And major shout out to Brianna. Who would have thought to put like cute little cups and a piece? Yeah, okay, that would not be me. <laughs> 81. All right, 81. Two forty one. All right. And then we have oh. two forty one. my hand in here 174 all right mm -hmm. we'll work out okay all right, that is all of the ones that we called. I do think the one, uh, the one winner might need the one winner who won two might need to win three. Okay, I have two of these left. One each. Two of this. Uh huh. Can we do that and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two forty four. Ninety nine. All right. Okay. And then just one. Okay. One fifty five. All right. There we go. All right, so that takes care of that grouping. What do you, you tell me what? You're going to call the number and hand Holly the cup. Okay. Once you have the winner, okay. hand the cup. 
All right. All right, 58. Fifty-eight, all right. One seventy-three. Okay, so that's Jerry Ann with one seventy-three. One seventy six, Jerry Ann. Well, it was for the record. For the record, it was the only ticket, and the and there's only one. Okay. Uh, Jerry, you can just come back up. I think this is 175. <laughs> For the record, again, the only one in there. All right, now we get some more. 128. Got a winner? 128. One thirty. <laughs> we have some big spender. Thank you, big spender. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all for playing the raffle. I know you texted this to me, Brianna, but what was our dollar amount? Like four, four, fourteen. It doesn't beat exact to the dollar. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to make small talk. Fourteen fifty. We raised fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. Woohoo! All right, our next winner is two twenty five. Awesome. All right, I hope you're one thirteen. Yay! <laughs> All right, number 39. Woohoo, we got a winner back there. We'll bring that to you. Raise your arm. Raise your arm. This is for the vibration plate that was generously sponsored by Life Pro. I'm mixing these up. We got a lot of tickets here. You get this lovely gift certificate that I made. So I'm a winner, and then they're going to ship it directly to you. So you don't have to, like, check the vibration plate. <laughs> it's here in the hotel. You should have seen her. You should have seen Brianna's face. She was like, oh, it's here. <laughs> if you drove here and you won, you can take it with you right now. 44. Do we have a winner? Oh, shut the front door. You want to, what are you trying to tell me? We don't. Okay, that's okay. Of 
fabulous prizes. All right. Let's go ahead and start with, oh, we have generously donated by Kathleen Leeson two lipidema treatment guides. Let's go. All right. Number one is going to be 93. Awesome. And the second one's going to be 47. Woohoo! Next, we have a sonic vibration massage gun from Life Pro. Okay, Health. hold up. So we, I think oh. we, who was number 47? How do we have two 47s? No, no, both of you have 47. What do you mean? She says she's, what's that? Oh, you're a oh. red 47. Okay, so black 47. Okay. <laughs> okay. The red was for life. 54. Going once, going twice. Okay. 84. Awesome. All right, what's our next item, Brianna? Light therapy belt, great for pain relief. 171. Going once, going twice, 117. All right, we got a lot of thank you for your donation. 86. <laughs> oh, no, that's, I'm sorry, I'm reading upside down. 98. <laughs> oh. Maybe okay. Shake, so, I uh, did. Yeah. I've been like and using my hands. Jerry Ann mixed them all up too. This is random and chance. Fifty-one. Yay! Yay. Okay. Next, we have some aromatherapy blends put together by Linda Ann. One ninety-seven. Going once, or do we hear something? Okay. All right. Yay. Okay, next we have some fabulous jewelry made by Patty. Yay. Of Lipidema Fitness. 201. A, oh. a bracelet and earrings, handcrafted. So generous, thank you. 201. Going once, going twice. Oh, 201. Oh. Lovely art piece also made by Patty. Gorgeous. 211. Oh, Amanda, <laughs> yay! Oh, we'll be blessed by this. It was, there you go. Gorgeous. Then we have some more jewelry generously donated by Patty's daughter for us. Ah. Oh. 162, 162, Woo! Oh. wear them well and make them sure. Um. Now we have five gift cards generously donated by Athleta, so that's 63, for $50 each. Got 63 coming, awesome. How many do I have? Five. 67. You get two. 189. Okay. Lucky. 20. And for Curvy Girl Beth for working with Athleta for us. Awesome. 28. 28's coming this way. 101. Ah. Oh. <laughs> with Deb Vibes from Vibrations for Fat Disorder. So anybody that might have a vibration plate and they want to know how to use it with lipedema, you can get in touch with her. And if you are thinking about getting one, she could let you know if it might be good or not for your condition, but she's willing to give an hour of her time to consult. And one goes with the vibration plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
two nineteen. Going once, going twice, one thirty six. Ah, there we go. Two seventeen. Two seventeen. Going once, going twice, seventy five. Awesome. One oh nine. have just been the winner of winners over there. And then no compromise for our sessions for live session requests. Okay. You're gonna make your now? Just say what our prize is. Oh. You've been saying what they all are. Oh, this is a two hour session with Beth who spoke earlier, our curvy girl Beth. So this is uh, two hours with her. You know, talk about your life, talk about your fashion, talk about whatever you want to talk about with her. So she would love to hear from you. So she's going to donate two hours of her time times five. 172. Going once, going twice. Okay. Um, number 10. Going once. Oh, there we go. 10. 60. 60. Okay, we'll bring it over. Oh, awesome. How many do we have left? Three. 27. 27. Going once, going twice. Number seven. Seven. Oh, right, yay. How about number 97? Oh. <laughs> and number 55. 55, going once, going twice. Okay. 90, oh, these are, these are hard to see which ones are which. 98. Eighty six. Eighty six. I'm telling you, the font is like it goes either way. Eighty six. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. So congratulations to all the raffle winners. Thank you for all of you who participated in the raffle and helped us uh, raise some additional money for FDRS. And thank you most of all to, the, to all of our generous uh, donors of all of our items. So as some parting words for you as we wrap up another successful FDRS conference, we want to thank again all the wonderful speakers it, they were informational, they were inspirational, and most of all, they provide us hope. For the patients, create yourself a healing space. Remove your barriers, take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Remember, what works for me may not work for you. Find what works for you. Find your tribe. Live life now, take the pictures, do all the things, you are alive. And with that, go out and conquer the world, knowing that you just spent two and since Friday or Thursday, whichever day you came in, with people that support you, that understand you, and who are experiencing life's journey along with you. Thank you all. I just want to let you